My name is Sonali Shaw Bracken and I'm a fourth year MD-PhD student at the University of Connecticut Health Center. This is our the newest edition of USMLE Step 1 Secrets. It's the third edition of the book and um, as name states it's a USMLE Step 1 review book and um, it is I think quite unique from other books on the market that uh, prep students for USMLE Step 1. Um, it is a mixture of basic concept questions and case-based questions and so the book is actually divided into 28 chapters um, that are uh, that hit on all of the main topics covered on the USMLE Step 1, cardiology, pulmonology, renal physiology, etc. Um, we actually have two brand new chapters in this edition, a new um, colored pathology section and a new EKG section in this book. Um, and as I said, it's a mixture of basic concept and case-based uh, case-based questions. So each chapter begins with um, an introduction to how to study for that chapter, an insider's guide to that chapter. It gives you a very detailed explanation of what we believe is the best way to approach that particular subject. And then it goes into uh, basic concept questions, hits on really the high yield uh, points um, related to basic concepts in that field, and then um, the material is reinforced through, um, you know, a a dozen high yield cases with follow up questions that we think really, really hit on all of the um, kind of uh, highest yield topics within that section. It has the mixture of basic concept and case based questions, so, probably the two um, resources that all students use are First Aid for the USMLE Step 1 and Goyan Rapid Review Pathology, both of which are really great for learning material but not necessarily as strong with reinforcing material um, through a mixture of case-based questions, which I think our students really find refreshing about this book. Um, as I said, students tend to struggle with retaining loads of information and the case cases, the real-life cases, I think really help for long-term retention of the material. The other um, feature of our book is that it kind of offers the types of material you would find only in an expensive prep course. So the newest edition of this book is um, filled with literally hundreds of USMLE Step 1 secrets that come straight from student authors and um, they tell students flat out these are the highest yield topics to learn for boards. This is a five star topic, make sure you know this, this shows up on boards over and over and over again, which uh, these other books don't do as well. Um, they tell you, they give you an outline form of exactly everything you need to know, but don't necessarily point out what you should spend more time learning, what you should spend less time learning. So uh, our book does that, and rather than spending $1,000 on an expensive prep course, you can get that for a book that retails for under 40. So we do think that that's a strength of, the, of this book. We also have um, a preface written by um, myself and my co-author, which um, gives you more secrets for how to do well on USMLE Step 1, um, tells you things that other books don't tell you. Um, for example, um, I don't think that when I was taking the exam that I knew until a few weeks before my exam that students actually get a whiteboard um, to write down formulas. And our book goes through and tells you all those things that you'll want to know to prep, be at your absolute best on test day. Um, it has. Uh, tips from other medical students besides myself and my co-author um, who have done extraordinarily well on boards. Um, we have gone through all of these other books. We've gone through First Aid. We've gone through Goulian. We've gone through four or five different QBank softwares to make sure that the information that we have in this book is up to date and relevant. So I think this book um, is a great supplement to the other books. Um, our, our students really, really love it and think that it's a very refreshing resource when they're kind of quote unquote sick of using some of the other books. Just remember that boards are boards are a difficult period of time, and that year that you're studying for boards is difficult. But keep the long-term goal in mind. Um, it is very It is very easy to kind of get down on yourself at this time and to get really stressed and kind of lose sight of exactly why you're here. But just remember, it's it's one more hurdle in your way that will pass. Um, thousands and thousands of medical students have done it. You'll all do it too. Um, you will get through it, and try to make the best of it. You. It is a difficult time, but you learn a lot and feel really, really good when it's, when it's done. So try to keep that in mind when studying for boards.